Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in the last video we were discussing how to print first 50 prime numbers and we were able to complete the program but we were not able to complete check whether the given number is prime or not. We will be completing that in this session guys. So if you pass number any number dynamically to a VBScript program, it should specify that uh, the given number which is entered is prime or not. Right? So let, let us open, let us close this agenda for now. So the first one is already done, I have marked it as done. Second one and uh, we'll discuss that now. So anyway, uh, these uh, programs which we are discussing in the, about prime and uh, check whether the given number is prime or not and the first 50 prime numbers. All the code will be present in the description so that you guys can play around. Pass number dynamically. I have passed 1 to 50, 1 to 100. You can give up to 1 to 1000 and check whether the all, all the prime numbers are printing or not properly. You can just play around. And you can give any number from the second program which we are going to discuss now. Okay, let me open a file. Mm, let me maximize it. Okay, today we will be discussing on um, to check to check whether the given number is prime or not. Okay, let's uh, do the program. I'll just take one um, variable check so that uh, this variable check will be a dynamically passed variable from input box. These all are input box, message box, all the videos have, we have discussed in my session, guys. If you don't know what is input box, you can go and visit my uh, tutorials of vscript basic to advanced, which I'll be putting at the end of the video so that you can click on the playlist and watch the all watch all videos. Enter any number to check well, to check whether it is prime. So this will be a simple uh, dialog box for the user to enter any value so that you will understand what to enter, what is this dialog box about. So let me set a flag. This will be a prime flag. Like in the last program we have set the prime flag. We have set the prime flag as prime equal to 0. Here we will set the flag 0, 1. So normally I go with 0 and 1 right? instead of uh, S or no or true or false. So let me write a loop which runs from uh, 2 to check the whatever the number it is. So check minus 1 and let me write um, state condition here. If uh, the number, whatever the number we are entering, if it is check mod i equal to 0 then so let me increment the value of count so count equal to count plus 1 let me end the if condition here let me end the loop now we have to write a condition to check whether the entered number is uh, prime or not. So let us take, uh, let us put a, put a bracket so that it will be properly understandable. Count of 2 if it is not equal to 0. So we are going to get 0. Then let me just print this H box. Check will be the entered number. Instead of check, I can write. Check prime. That makes more sense, right? So I will just uh, check prime. So wherever check I have written, check prime number will be the or simple number. So I'll just write check prime number. 
it will be available and instead of check check doesn't uh, really mean anything right it's just check so i'll just write here check prime number check prime number mod i and here also it will be um uh, yeah it will be message box so check prime number i'll give a concatenate to make the sentence more sense is not a prime number and then I'll write as condition to match up this message box message box I'll just write check one Prime number ampersand so is a prime number. So let me let me the condition here. Yeah? Let me save this to check prime, something like that. Check prime dot VBS. Okay, let me explain the code. So we are dynamically taking check prime number number from an input box dynamically from the user by putting this uh, message in the dialog box. Let's see, no need for the flag here. Okay. Um, so for y equal to to check prime number minus one. So this will be the normal condition, which will be the same condition as we have used in the prime numbers mod i. Then we are incrementing the count and we are ending the statement here. Then next. Now here we are searching that count. What is the count we have got? If divided by 2, if it is not equal to 0, then it's not a prime number. There's condition on the prime number. Let me just close this. This let me just close this and let me uh, just uh, execute the previous program so that we can take a random prime number and check whether our code is working properly or not. So, okay, if this is visible, so let me just uh, put in the middle. So, you can see the bunch of prime numbers, right? Let us take a random number, let us take 59 and check whether our code is working properly or not. Let me zoom out, close this. Let me click uh, check prime. So dialog box has appeared. So let me maximize the screen so that you guys can see the dialog box properly. So now the, the number which uh, we thought we saw on like it was 59 so let me click on ok so uh, as you can see here 59 it says is a prime number right let me just close this let me just give 2 right let me just enter 2 here if the dialog box is properly visible let me just enter 2 It rightfully prints 2 is a prime number. Let us take another, another example for that we will click on the previous program to see. To see. Well, let us take um, 97 this time. Okay, so let us take 97 to check whether our program is going properly or not. This is called testing, guys. <laughs> Proper testing. So 97. 97 is a prime number right let me just close this let me take the first two scenarios right uh, we perfectly know 9 is not a prime number right so let me double click it let me enter 9 so it rightfully prints 9 is not a prime number let us take another example we know 4, it is divisible by 2, 1 and 4. 
So it is a composite number. So let us check for four. Four. It rightfully prints. Four is not a prime number. So guys, for code, it will be in, in the description. You can uh, take the code and you can play around with different different scenarios. And also guys, if you like this video, click, please click on like button. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.